Disaster has struck. A Hittite army has marched down the shore of the Euphrates River and sacked Babylon. Although your party is isolated among enemies in the marshlands, this is our only hope for exacting vengeance on the raiders. A Hittite force remains in the area, trying to gather more loot. Clear your enemies from the marshlands and burn the Hittite encampment to the ground. Alrighty, welcome back everyone to the Voices of Babylon campaign. I'm Don Hayes and this is Scenario 3, Vengeance. The objective of this mission is to take down the Hittite army, which is brown, and take back the ruined city of Babylon. It's quite a fun mission. Let's begin. Build a couple of houses. I'm going to scout our little island. So we're going to be utilising horse archers and um, catapults for this mission. Basically a beetle combination. Or a beats all combination, I should say. Dock, nice and early. I want to take down the trees and also farm the trees. So this is the ruined area that we're going to capture. The Hittite army is over here. Start by building a couple of fishing boats. So we're mostly going to want gold and food for this mission. Wood is very important in the early game, mostly for just building everything up. But also we're going to need a couple of ships as well to defend a choke point. We'll go out to three fishing boats eventually. Just gives a nice little boost to our food eco. To war galleys. And then we'll start defending the choke point. So that the enemy doesn't keep dropping us. I'm going to be building a farm eco around here. Once the berries have gone and once we've cleared out some area with the uh, woods. We, don't need, we only need one dock, we don't need two for this mission, even though there's arguments to be said for more fishies over here, but not really needed. Once we transition to farm eco, that will be more than our requirement of uh, food. So this is the area we want to defend. I'm going to send set, set to defensive stance. Uh, ground stance, even. Stand ground, even. Get there in the end. I want four boats. That should be enough to defend. We can always build more if we need to. Mostly as and when we lose them. And we're going to be wanting transition into uh, 
Uh, the next stage as soon as possible. Go to marketplace. So we're going to build a government center. Trying to take down that dock is is not worth the effort. The enemy will just rebuild it anyway. And more than that, it's just very well, very heavily protected. Transition to gold production now as well. Check that out. What's the emphasis on uh, ships? Don't want them to be landing on my shores. All I need. I cancel one of those. Put some gold production at this point. Is the upgrades?
building. Yes. Arch range for sure. I'm going to build an academy mostly just so that I can uh, age up. Beautiful. Right now we can transition more into farms. and gold are the two most important resources for me. I'm going to have to uh, use this as a scout for now. So this is actually very easy to take over. This island we do want to uh, use as a staging point. So we're going to grab this gold and then we're going to build um, a forward base here with archery ranges and a couple of siege um, workshops. Not quite there yet, but won't be too long now. Oh, shit, I don't need any more. Heavy transports, a couple of upgrades I want, in fact most of these. This one, this one, and this one. Let's bring them over to that, but I'll probably bring those over. My transport. This one. One guy is still on berries. <laughs> Want this for the range? Definitely want this one as well. So for me, spacebar takes me to the nearest event that just happened, which in this instance was obviously me being attacked. In case you're wondering what the keybind is, for me, space. Need a couple of these. Much exhausted all the gold on this island. Here and here, we're going to build a forward base. And we build our uh, gold mine. I do want four of these.
So these are basically fully upgraded at this point. These guys won't stop attacking us, by the way. Just gonna build one more thing, galley. At this point, these guys are pretty redundant. So you want to know why I'm building Horse Archer, they're basically like a, um, a catch-all unit. Kind of kill everything, kind of outrun most Ooh, melee, good against catapults, all sorts really. Cavalry is probably the one unit that's a little bit of a challenge. But the enemy doesn't really build a huge amount of them. Like once that wave is gone, it's not going to be a unit we're going to be coming across too much. Workshop then. Rude. so far out. Make a quick pit stop. This over as well. Finish capturing this. That's too many. I'm gonna have to start killing off some workers, unfortunately. Um, pretty much out of well, uh, max pop. Do I need that many? Do you know what? Let's kill these four. Bring these over. Fishing boats can go. is fine. Whoa, where the hell are you going? Okay, fine. Chop trees. If you prefer. Okay, not. Let's 
That's uh, his thing. Just gonna slow push the win. Anything that comes to destroy the catapults, I'll take out with the cavalry. Um, cavalry can actually outrange towers, which make them, again, just a perfect catch all. Got two range longer than the towers, which is quite funny. Yeah, that was a bit ambitious. It's their last major attack though, it's pretty much all their units. Once that's gone, we'll just rebuild. Any people on this? Let's bring those over to reduction. Same with you guys. Do I need this? Probably not.
Alright, back to pushing. No more surprises. We've got a critical mass. I'm glad this A-move thing works. It's interesting that the A-move thing now works because it's also set to enemy. But yeah, it is really weird that um, apparently you just need to set it once and then it's a set and forget. But what a difference it makes that I can just A-move and it hits villages. Beautiful. Living the dream. Literally burning a house right in front of me. Rude. Gee, gee. This is a sad day for the Babylonians because our city has been sacked and our future is grim. At least our soldiers can return home, knowing that they have done everything they could to prevent this disaster. Alrighty folks, well that will about do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.